Fears are growing that Libya's unity government could be under threat following a rift over who should head that government. Parliament appointed a new prime minister, but the incumbent is refusing to cede power and still has the backing of the United Nations. The development has raised the specter of renewed conflict between rival factions, which divided Libya after former dictator Muammar Gaddafi was ousted and killed in 2011. Arriving in Tripoli, one of the two men who now claims to be Libya's prime minister, Fatih Bashaga, a former interior minister, was voted in by the country's parliament on Thursday and has the backing of militia leaders in the country's east. Libya is a democracy and that means the peaceful transfer of power. I'm confident that the government of national unity will be committed to these democratic principles. But his rival is refusing to go. Abdul Hamid Debeba has been Libya's interim prime minister for the past year and has the support of the United Nations, which says it still recognizes him. On Thursday, Debeba claimed to have survived an assassination attempt, releasing a video of his vehicle bearing bullet damage. Hours later, the country's parliament in Tobruk replaced Debeba, criticizing him for failing to hold elections in December as agreed under a UN-backed plan. Lawmakers also amended the constitution and ordered elections to be held within 14 months. On the streets of Tripoli, people expressed their dismay at the latest political crisis. Libyans don't trust any of them. They keep installing prime ministers and then removing them, back and forth. They're not steady. If they were honest, they would let the elections happen, and we would have chosen officially a real prime minister, and we would have had a stable constitution. Rival demonstrators are picking sides. Armed militias may follow. There are fears Libya could slide back into a conflict between factions in the country's east and west, which have divided the country for years.